Okay, guys, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a tunnel because it was requested. I'm not sure what kind of tunnel he wanted it, so what I'm going to be doing is just making a tunnel in Maya itself. Um, it's going to be a concrete tunnel, and this is what we're going to make it out of. So we're going to select that. I'm going to bring that up here. And I'm going to go here like this, select the faces. Not like that. So there. And then we're going to go back here. I don't want that to happen. So let's try It's definitely not working like it should. That's no problem. It's a little wider. All right, so that's that. We're going to rotate it. Right about there. That is the farthest thing from uh, what I want. Not sure how I managed to do that, but there we go. Now, if we want to, what we can do is we can put a bend in this, but to do that, I'll have to stretch it first. And for some reason, it definitely does not want to stretch properly. Fishing spot's gone. Hmm. Oh well, we're gonna leave it like this. Well, I'm not. I'm just gonna delete it. Get rid of that. We're gonna try this again. Um, height, thickness, subdivide, sub height. Seems good enough. Okay, the height will be ten, no, twenty, thirty. This will be 10. Just want a big old tunnel. And subdivide. Let's put this at 10. And double that to 40. And for the cap, let's try 5. That should be able to give us more of what we want. Yes, it does. That's a ton better. Look at that. Now, 
the poly pipe, what we're going to focus on is rotating it. And rotate. What if I put 90? There we go. Sorry about that. My brain needs a second to clue in that I'm back in Maya um, because I'm extremely used to Mudo. So, and there we go. We have the beginning of a tunnel. Um, now, of course, you're not going to be using this bottom half. So, we are going to select faces. And just delete that. Select this, and we're going to fill the holes. So, fill hole. And as you can see, the hole is filled. Uh, filled. Now, we're going to add a UV. So, select the object. Go to object mode. UV. And I'm just going to do automatic. Okay. And we're going to go to UV editor. I select all this and we're going to unwrap. Or sorry, unfold. And We need to shrink this. Because we got to fit all of these in. So I'm going to move this over here. And. And these three can go up and up and over. And I gotta go to the bank there. Tools and I want to optimize. So there. That has UV now. So we don't want to smooth it or anything like that, and we don't want to do anything else to it because it's good the way it is. But if you do want to, what you can do is um, in this part here, you can add sort of um, what do you call it? You can add sort of a little bump, uh, an edge. So where you can connect them together. We're going to export this. Yeah, we're just going to export it like this. And we're going to put this in edits. As an FPX. Don't forget to click smoothing groups. Tunnel. Straight. Now we're going to take this same thing and we're going to stretch it. Or 
rather just stretch it about that much. And we are going to um, I think it's an animation. We're going to deform it. And what we want to do is we want to bend the shape. So if I can't remember how to do it, we'll just forget about it. But I want to make, make a curved version of this. Okay, so we're going to hit E. And this is the bend handle. Last use tool. Yeah, I don't think, what is this one? It's a motion trail. Deform. I already have the bend in there. So, rotate, rotate on axis, pivots. I already did all that. Inherit transformation. No. No idea. Alright, anyway, what we're going to go is in the next video I'm going to bring it into the engine and we'll get making the tunnel. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.